all blue. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve this uh, inequality um, and graph the solution. So in solving inequality, obviously, we just like an equation, we got to get x equals something, right? But now we're just going to be using inequality symbols rather than an equation symbol. So kind of pretend a lot of times what I like to do is write the inequality symbol up top. Um, but now, just kind of pretend this is an equation for a second. And the only time we're going to change that is if we have to multiply or divide by a negative number on both sides. So what I'll do here is I'll combine these terms. So I have a negative of 5x minus 3x, or 5x minus 8x is a negative 3x equal to 19 minus 10x. Now, to get my variables to the same side, I'll add a 10x on both sides. And I get 7x is equal to 19. Then divide by 7, divide by positive 7. x is equal to 19 over 7, which cannot be simplified. Now, since I did not multiply or divide by a negative number, my inequality symbol is going to remain the same. If I would have multiplied or divided by a negative number, then I'd have to switch the inequality symbol around. But since it's the same, I'm going to now re-enter it back in there. And that's really basically the only difference besides the, you know, what exactly our solution set is going to be. But basically, the only difference when solving, we're still using inverse operations. The only thing is, whenever you multiply and divide by a negative number, you just have to flip the inequality symbol. But as far as solving, the basic idea is the same. Get your variable isolated on one side. So now I just need to graph this. Now, you could see that you know, 7 divides into 19. We know at least two times, right? Because 7 times 2 is 14. But it doesn't go in there three times, because 7 times 3 is 21. So I'm roughly going to have a decimal of 2 and something. Um, so when I'm looking into graphing this, I'm going to graph a nice number line. I'll say, all right, here's 0, 1, 2, 3. Remember, I know that the 7, 19 divided by 7 has to be between 2 and 3, 4, and negative 1. OK, so I'm just going to say, here's 19 over 7. OK, and you could obviously use a calculator and estimate what exactly that's going to be. Um, so this says x is less than or equal to 19 over 7. Since it's less than or equal to, that means it can be equal to that value. That means 19 over 7 is a part of our solution. Then it says all values that are less than 19 over 7. So all we basically want to do is to find one point that's going to make that true. Um, and then we shade towards those points. So I like to always use 0 if possible. Well, is 0 less than or equal to 19 divided by 7? Yeah, we said 19 divided by 7 is like 2 in a decimal, right? So 0 is obviously, or any, ne any negative number is obviously going to be less than. So that's true. So therefore, we're going to shade to your left. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve and graph your multi-step inequality. Thanks. You done? All right.